I'm opening up my backup camera from Halo View. I'm gonna unbox it and we'll take it from there. So these look like they are the side cameras. Um, and I believe like you have to pay for those separately. So here's the camera. This is pretty significant. It feels like it's very well made. Here's the other one. Same thing. Awesome. I think this is the actual rear camera and the wireless monitor. And this is recommended for vehicles that are 33 feet and over. And it's not supposed to lose any real time capturing. So we're gonna put it to the test. So in the box is The dash monitor. It's pretty cool. Here are all the wires that go to the monitor. Here's the mounting bracket. Got to figure out where the best place to mount it is. And then uh, another mounting bracket of some sort. Here is the backup camera. Again, super heavy duty, very nice quality. And here's some accessories. I'm assuming also some type of mounting bracket that I'll have to look into. And then we have wires, nuts and bolts, sticky tape, and then a big old long wire. And I think this is a transmitter. So basic, oh yeah, so basically it, it, it goes on to the transmitter so that uh, we can get a picture. So that's it. Now let's get to installing it. I don't know where I'm gonna put that yet, but I'm gonna plug it in for 12 volt. Mm -hmm. And okay. So, there is the camera. Turn it on. I don't even know if I'm doing it right. Why isn't it coming on? Gotta press the on button. That is the on button. I'm just joking. Ass. Uh, the Halo View camera is going to go be mounted on the back and then it connects to this splitter right here and the splitter connects to this guy that's going to go at the front of the coach. Uh, this is the wireless transmitter that helps everything talk to each other and connect. So this is going to go above the bus and come all the way to the front and this will be on the outside of the bus. So. Then once we connect this guy, the 12 volt line is going to come into the bus and we're going to connect the 12 volt line to give power to the camera. I went through some problems with Halo View. I couldn't get my monitor to power up, so I went through a little bit of back and forth with them. Had to purchase some extra wires from Amazon, which they actually reimbursed me for. And um, so hopefully this is the new monitor. Let's get it open. Here's the new monitor. They did some extensive testing on it and they say it's powering up. So let's get it into the bus. Here's the new monitor. I've got the 
plug ready to go. Let's see what happens. Aha! This one immediately has a light. And there we go, folks. Thank you, Halo View. I've managed to get the transmitter wire all the way from the back of the bus, right here. This is the wire to the front of the bus. So it's going all the way over here around the solar. So here we have a very close look at what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mount this transmitter right up here at the front of the bus with two half inch self-tapping screws. Transmitter is now secure. Here's the backup camera, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to temporary power so I could just see where I would like to place it. As you can see, the camera is temporarily connected and now I just need to adjust it and make sure that it's where I need it to be. Um, I think I'm gonna put it up higher because I'd like to really be able to have a wider scope of vision back there. Um, and I'm also gonna be placing the side marker cameras as well to see where I'd like them positioned. And um, hopefully I can get that all done today. We've got temporary power now going to the transmitter. So the back camera's working. And now what I'm gonna have to do is come down here and decide which area of the side of the bus that the side marker cameras will go on. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and run the 12 volt wires for them. So now here is the side marker camera. As you can see. All right. So we had to measure exactly where the camera would go onto the side of the school bus because I want to be able to see, you know, a lot of the road. So that's kind of where we decided, just above the third little bumper guard. Let's put the cover back on. Awesome. So you can see right there, the side marker camera is plugged in and it's too bright out to tell, but this is on. If I can do it, you can. And here's side marker camera number two. Got to put this guy on and wire it. There we go. So this is Ooh, the 12 volt power line to the backup camera. I'm gonna have to make a hole in the bus for this to go in. And then this guy, I'm going to attach at the top of the bus. Do I want to make, I'm gonna put the hole right here for the wire to go in. And I have a little bit of a grommet here. This tiny little grommet, it did not come with the camera system, so you need to get one of these. Otherwise, it's going to rain in your bus or RV. Hold on. Putting the wires above because they're coming down from the rooftop and you don't wire it from the inside because you want to be able to change those wires if something happens and I have to open your ceiling self-tapping screws <laughs> directly into the bus.
Alrighty. This is the 12 volt line from the bus. And I'm gonna just plug these guys back in. We're now fastening the transmitter wire to the solar wires so that it's taut and not flopping around up here. And I basically just took the excess, wired it, wrapped it right here, and then we're just gonna hold on to it with the other wires so that it doesn't go flip flopping. And that's it. There it is. Nice. Do you wanna go point it down a little bit? Yeah. Let's see. select the type of view you want. So here's the right and left and the back. Camera one, camera two, and it's dusk right now so it's a weird time so don't judge the lighting. Camera four. Now hopefully I won't hit anything. <laughs> <laughs> 